Hello, I'm Ari, and can you tell what day it is? It's an art haul. So, let's see what came in the mail. We're still kind of not back to normal. I'm not shopping because I had surgery and having or getting a cough is not going to be good for me. So I'm still ordering through the mail. This definitely is a smaller art haul than a few of the others, but let's see what came in the mail and open these. First one is from Amazon. I got the Rotring, made in Germany. Rotring? I'm not sure which way it's pronounced. This is the college set. It comes with ink, three pens, a pencil, a plastic eraser, and more lead. So I first saw these at Papkins uses these and I thought, you know, I'm struggling with my inking and I haven't found a, you know, like I like my microns. I also like that these are refillable where the microns are not. So I wanted to try these and see if I could step up my inking game a little bit. However, at Papkins has given a warning that if you don't use them every day, they dry and they're a pain in the butt to clean. Which I have some experience with my other ink pens. I'm excited to use these. So the case is really cool. I like that. There'll be a place to store my, my pencils. Second package. Either I saved all this opening for you. I just had surgery and I didn't get to it. <laughs> kind of a little bit of all, both. I purchased from the Ruby Mountain Paint Company. Isn't that cute? So I saw these palettes and I almost ordered the palettes. I'm going to probably get this wrong. It's like USK Factory, like at USK Factory on Instagram. And I think his name is Charlie and he's from Korea, South Korea. And he makes these little palettes and Ruby Mountain Paint Company decided to do a palette or to use those palettes for her paints. And so to get both things I've been wanting in one, isn't that cute? Would that be cute for like plain air or just traveling to a coffee shop? Just a little. I mean, so let's see. What could I compare it to? You know, I mean, it's only, let's give you the measurements on that. It is we. So if you see this and you're thinking about ordering, I want you to understand how tiny this is because to order from directly from the factory they're they're not that pricey except for the fact that the shipping is going to cost you a lot so you're better off ordering a few pallets if you're going to order any or if ruby mountain paint company has more purchasing through her your first one it's less than one and a half inches so it's it's a wee but it's so cute and you can refill this with your own paints once you use up the paints. But this is from Ruby Mountain Paint Company. Another thing she carries that I've seen, uh, I don't know where it'll play a role in my art, but pigment salts. So this is the forest floor and it was just beautiful. I mean, I really like some of the other ones that are like yellow and orange. But then when I saw and I had that on my wish list, she has an Etsy shop. I will try to link that below. Just remind me if I ever forget to do the links and I will add them after the fact. So pigment, pigment salt sprinkles. That's right. I also ordered because I, I have so many bottles of ink without droppers. So that's not 
real fun is it this stuff I need my my other one is getting grody as much as I try to clean it so that's nice you know just things you need in the shop Ruby Mountain Paint Company there's all the information on the screen that you would need we care eco-friendly packaging a thank you how to care for your handmade paints I thought I would swatch these out for you. All right, so as you can see, this is why I bought those sprinkles. They, they just kind of bloom. So I think they could have some really neat effects. She does say that they are not guaranteed to be light fast because of the pigments. You want to sell your art these may not be something you want to include but I just couldn't resist I love like those colors and now I have green on me forever forever since I don't have a huge art haul today it'd be kind of fun to swatch out these colors I think I purchased the mountain set, but don't quote me on that. So the way I did it, don't do that. I will have pigment on me all day long. There they are swatched out. Wow, oh, that red just is so intense. It just kind of blots everything else out. And that red is just so intense. And the blue is so muted that it ends up being like a gray, a gray purple rather than a like an orange and blue. So I'm really liking the palette. You know, this seems like it'll need to be replaced every so often. But just really cute palette. I'm really happy with that. Here's a kind of close-up of the colors. And those sprinkles. Yeah, don't do what I do did. And my fingers are kind of green now. You're not supposed to dip your hands in it. Use like a little piece of paper or something. But I wasn't thinking about pigment staining. So there's the Ruby Mountain paints. Yeah, so the color, the four color quadwood palette I purchased was $45. And the colors in here were the mountain colors. It was primaries and I hadn't tried her paints yet. It gave me a chance to get two things I kind of wanted is to try the Ruby Mountain paints as well as try out the USK factory palettes as well as the sprinkles. Next one is Julia K. I keep meaning to ask her to send me a label because I'm starting to collect several of her paints. These are the colors I purchased. The Newton and Cedric are part of her kind of Harry Potter magic houses themed sets. And then I have Darcy and Matilda, which were just, this is a really moody color. And this is a sparkle, but it was just so pretty. I want to pick up her iris too, because the iris is really pretty. Should we unwrap these two? Now these few did not come with the metal wrapping. So I'm assuming something, something happened there. So she does label each of her pans. See, the Matilda one has wrapping on it. Matilda. Let's 
Cedric. And then we also received a dot for Rita. I think I already own that one. She also sent a sheep sticker. And honey, and a thank you. She is just the sweetest. Look at that vibrant yellow. That's a Cedric. Get that color. That black looks very granulating. And those greens, I'm in love. And look at the effects of mixing this Matilda with the Cedric. Look at that. Look at that. This is why I love watercolors is just these granul these are granulating too so i am a kind of sucker for granulation oh. this is why i keep returning to julia k paints they go down nicely there is absolutely no chalkiness to her paints they are just lovely and she is just the sweetest person ever just a sweetheart i'm absolutely loving matilda absolutely loving it and especially with the cedric that is my favorite combination so look at this paint this is the verita it's kind of like a blue gold Pastel mix and like all of her paints, absolutely gorgeous. All right, we'll set those aside to dry. I think I have about 16 of her paints. I haven't swatched out the other ones, so that's why I kind of thought, you know what, today let's do an art haul and swatch. The next thing out of my packages is this Talk About It Handmade Watercolors by Rachel Bath. Rachel Bath Watercolors. She does not provide pigment information, but her sets are just so adorable. Oh, sorry, that was corn tortilla. This one is diced tomatoes. Purple onion. This looks reminiscent of one I just swatched out. Sort of looks like that one. But no, I guess it's a little bit different. See, this is another one of her sets, the Happy Birthday set. I just love her packaging. And this is iceberg lettuce. As I was saying, I, I thought maybe if I unbox these during my art hauls then I can start painting with them and then do a painting video and then just include the swatching with that so there's the iceberg lettuce and she has her little logo iceberg lettuce so what Rachel does is she has these little theme sets this one is called talk about it and I buy these for the cuteness factor. So like here's the dance with me set. I'll, I'll be having swatching videos of these soon and making art with those. So I can tell you more about the paints, but that, that bust a move 
oh, it is so beautiful. And the Blue Monday and Walking on Sunshine, those are my three favorite in this palette, but that Busta Move is just like a neon beauty. But see, look how cute that is. So these sold me on cuteness factor, not pigments. Uh, most other companies I go with is for the pigments. She has a subscription that you can join, or you can just pick these up on Etsy, but she has very limited supplies of these sets. I have, I use only distilled water with handmade watercolors to prevent mold. It's coffee Sunday. Sorry if you hear any noises in the background. It's, it's summer, so people are out. My art studio is in my home. So if you hear noises, maybe my son, maybe the neighbors, our workshop across town is just too dirty right now for me to do anything there. My husband builds bikes, bicycles, I should say, like Ren Enduring bicycles, custom made. So we are a very artistic couple. And that's what's nice about these little containers. You can use the lid as you're mixing. As I said, I have to purchase a couple more palettes because I end up, like I've had these two paints on here for quite a while and I have not got around to using them. Same thing with my Daniel Smith colors from the Sketchbox this month, plus my two new colors, which is what I put on here of the two green gold. Quinacridone, that was, I think those were in my last art haul video. So I need to, you'll see a new palette coming up on one of my art hauls soon. They're always full and then I, I have nowhere to put paint. So having this is really handy for me. So let's put down corn tortilla. We are going to be working on our patio today. All the greenhouses really had bad choices for flowers this year. Kind of made me sad. I really liked my patio last year. But I could not get any of the colors in flowers that I had last year. If you're wondering why I'm skipping around, it's because I do not want it to bleed into the next color. I really like that color. And her little uh, charts have a magnet on the back. Do you see the cuteness factor of these? But it makes you not so worried about light fastness or pigments. However, when I'm painting things that I want to last, I probably will not be turning to these until she does provide pigment information. Some of the colors get a little chalky. Come off a little bit on my finger. We'll let those dry and I'll give them more detailed in the, the swatching. Even though I know I just swatched the cover here, we'll look at those more in depth at another time. One more. This is the Happily Ever After set. So make that eight. This is my ninth set. So sorry, I thought I was seven. Happily Ever After. This is going to be metallics. And as I said, I, I still have the Northwest Adventure set that I just received recently. I'm not sure if this was in my last video or not. Sweet as can be. So if you collect Rachel Beth's watercolors, let me know in the comments. Have you tried her paints? What are your thoughts on these paints? Here's the True Love's Kiss. I really like her packaging. That's also so cute. This is True Love's Kiss. Look at that pink. Pink is one of my favorite colors. I know I'm... Maybe I'm a girly girl. I don't know. No. I'm not. I don't know. 
You can't define me. And happy endings. Happy endings. Now, Prince Charming. I will probably just edit some of this footage and add that to the swatching videos and art videos with these paints because, you know, time is premium. Prince Charming. Fairy Godmother. So maybe I'm throwing in a little swatching with the art haul video. Let me know in the comments. Is it nice to see what the paints do in the art haul video or is it just information you guys really don't want? You know, I've only been doing this six months and I know some people just want, just let me see what you got and other people want more information. And so I'm, as a creator of content, I'm kind of struggling because I, I personally, if I'm watching an art haul video, would, there's always times I see the items and think I really want to see what that looks like, but they're not doing any art with it at that point. Maybe it makes it more tempting if I do this, but I know I watch art haul videos and think, oh, I want to tune back into that and see what she does with the supply or that supply. And then either I can't find the videos again or like all of us, the time goes by, and you don't get back to something you had meant to. So I thought, you know, why not stick a little swatching in with this so you can see these paints firsthand. At least, you know, what do they look like swatching to know if it's something you want to purchase. And as you can tell by this video, my purchasing habits have decreased a little bit because I was telling one subscriber, I think I have everything. But there's always things we want, isn't there? Now it seems like besides, besides watercolors, handmade watercolors, the thing I'm buying is things that might, things that might help me improve my art game. Like those rot ring pens. And like I said, the biggest, well, not the biggest, that they're refillable is a really great reason to get those. But if you only do art once in a while, then those may not be a good idea. Maybe then stick with your microns. So things like that is what I find myself purchasing right now is I need another palette. I needed the water droppers. So things that are going to make my art journey easier or a little bit better is what I find myself purchasing right now. And it really isn't a lot. That one has sparkle in it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Hopefully up close you'll be able to see that. Goodness, look at this color. Oh wait, 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 wait. Until you see this color. That is happy endings. I'm trying to get the color change. Look at that color on my, so there's like pinks and reds. It's like a pink and red mix. It's, ugh, it's lovely. So this one is a sparkle set. They may need a minute to dry. I'll show them again at the end because we have just, I think one more thing to unbox. There's like a pink, pink in the background that is just, reminds me of a sunset. Again, it's showing, you know, like the pink in it is showing up here. So those are our two Rachel Best sets. So you usually, her shop opens on Fridays. Then you usually get the paint about a week later. Our last post package and look at she has these little dear posty thank you for working so hard so we can stay safe and still send happy posts you are our heroes i think that's just so sweet these are coming from the uk anything from overseas right now for me i am in wisconsin 
and my packages are being delayed about two weeks. So Julia K Studios paints, even though I don't think there's an issue with shipping per se, I think they're holding international packaging for two weeks. Look at her little packaging, isn't that sweet? So I followed the international tracking to Chicago and then it sat in Chicago for 14 days and then all of a sudden it started to move. There was no updates, no nothing, and then it started to move. Cute, thank you. She always sends samples. Look at, I have, I'm waiting on a color to complete a set. I started a swatching of my last paints there's an indigo gold, that's awesome, as, oh, a turquoise blue vivanite, oh, she's taunting me. That blue vivanite is so beautiful, I, it's expensive, and I kind of wanted to get it. I'm kind of happy, look at all the turquoise and blues. I know, I said I don't like blues, but painting, I guess I like some, oh, okay. As always, she sends some care information for your pants and some tea. I think that's just sweet. So what did we purchase? Oh, she is such a sweetie. I, I forgot what had happened, but she sent me, I have this, I bought the sketching dots and she had sketching crayons in those same colors. I think this is the graphite black plus another one. Like they're like pet pastels. But she was so sweet to send me those. So we have those. Those ones are not labeled. I think that might be, I think I went ahead and bought the full sketch set from her and then all the other ones. <sighs> okay. Oh, I don't know if I should swatch these because this is gonna take a little while. But so the, I believe this is the pyrite. It kind of eats through the metal wrapper. It's nice to have them wrapped, but what I, I hate all the work of unwrapping these. I gotta just open it and have them ready for me to play with because this just takes takes forever. Yeah, so this is a sketch set. We have the sepia. We have the graphite. Again, I was looking at this set for Inktober, along with my poems about you watercolor. I haven't swatched those up. That's on my to-do list this week. Charcoal, sanguine. I used to be such a stickler for pronunciation and stuff. No, yeah. I don't have time for that. So there's a little sketch set. So kind of, you got a couple blacks, a brown, and kind of a rust. And as I said, she has these drawing sticks. I don't know if they're pastels or what, but she was kind enough to send me those to try out. So hers is another company that I am going to need. Thalo Mona Blue. Yeah, so the crumbs from these foil wrappers in any paint brand is just so annoying. Transparent Yellow Ochre. This one is the Pyrite. This is one of, has become one of my favorite colors. So just so you know, if you get your Pyrite, that's okay. It just eats into that wrapper a little bit. So pyrite, you're gonna love this color. If you like moody colors, buy some pyrite. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's beautiful. And it's actually one of the colors that is inspiring me to start making watercolors. Because it is so expensive and it's even expensive to just buy the pigment to make them. We've got fluorescent pink. I forgot whose video. I watched. But that's, I think, where I learned about these paints. If I can find it, I will link it below. 
ultramarine pink. How those colors, there's six colors that I purchased specifically for a project. And they are based on the colors I saw in that video. So the Italian Yellow Earth. The colors that you get with those mixes were just so beautiful. Terra Vert. A couple of these she had as quick sets on sale. Cobalt Turquoise. Indigo Genuine. And this should be yellow ochre light. Yellow ochre light. Which one was this? This was trans. Oh, this is the transparent yellow ochre or ochre light, which is funny. It seems darker. Sorry, I'm pausing. I'm missing the French green turquoise. Of cobalt turquoise. Oh, yeah, so I didn't get my French green turquoise. So that happens. But that was to complete the set of six. I mean, I think it's this color here, but I will have to let her know. It's frustrating because I've been waiting for this set forever, and yet she sent me these. So it's so frustrating. Yeah, I've been waiting for to do a project with the six colors, the two yellows, the two blues, the pink and the purple. And without that I mean, I ha luckily I have the little turquoise. Show you the difference. So that, you know, that's my green for this set. And to not have that is a little frustrating because now I know it'll be another month before I get that color. I know, and in my last video I said I didn't really like jewel tones and this is looking jewel tone-ish. But trust me when I say, if you mix these colors, they're just stunning. This one is a transparent, so it's really light. I'll just use this for a minute. Look at that pink. Do that green by that pink. Oh, that's why I'm kind of thinking this one has some fluorescent pink in it. That happy endings. That is one of the colors I was going for. Oh, her colors are just so lovely. That's the Terra Vert. The Yellow Earth. Anybody else like so happy right now with that indigo. Stunning. This is indigo genuine. It's a little bit more expensive than indigo hue, but that color is so worth it. That's the phthalo mona blue. Oh, that is stunning too. So how is this helping your buying urges? Now I have to do it pink with that phthalo blue. Yes. Yes. All right, what didn't I test for you? Oh, all right, the pyrite. I know some of you aren't going to understand this color, but as to why I really like it. Well, that dries, we'll go in and look at these colors. So these last four are from her sketch set. Let me show you the blue Vivonite. Isn't that gorgeous? It's lavender blue. Both periwinkle, purple, pink. Actually, these two together would look really nice. Yeah, nice kind of peri more periwinkle color. There we go. That's the Azurite Malachite Turquoise. That's beautiful. It's 
her red brown and her clay brown. So these are her drawing sticks, which I think for Inktober for sketching. Nice. Nice, nice. So these are the colors I wanted for my set, but I am missing this green. So I will have to contact her. She's really great about fixing errors. So I, I purchased 14 paints. I received 14 paints, but one of the colors was wrong. So here's those sketch sets. And they're a really, um, when not watered down, they're a little bit chalky, but it could also be the pigment. And this is the Mayan gold. I don't know if you can see the gold black in it. I'm really liking it's like an ocean blue. Just so, that's really pretty. It's gonna be hard not to order that one. And look what the fluorescent pink and the yellow ochre did together. And that was the fluorescent pink and the ultramarine pink. And I don't know if those swatches are doing justice to that pyrite, but do you notice it's kind of like, it reminds me of summer storms when that the sky is kind of that yellow color and yellow greenish with the dark gray. Here you can kind of see the yellow blood out a little bit. It's just, it is, it's prettier than that is doing justice. It is one of my favorite moody colors right now. And her indigo genuine is fabulous. Fabulous blue, not, not a gray. So if you're into indigos, you may want to try her indigo genuine. All right, there you have it. That is my art haul. As I said, my newest interest is watercolors, handmade watercolors. So much so that I plan to start making, just trying to make some of my favorite colors, like the pyrite. I ha kind of have a scientific mind, so I like to experiment. So getting into a little bit of watercolor making myself, I don't know that I will ever sell watercolors because that's just not my thing. But I definitely want to make my favorite colors and just always be able to have them on hand. So this is the sketch set. If you like sketching, I think it would be an awesome set to pick up. This one doesn't come with a card. Kind of just to recap on today's art haul. Am I forgetting something? No, I think that is it. Lots of handmade watercolors, quartz creations, Rachel Beth, Ruby Mountain Paint Company. So there you have it. Is there anything you really liked in today's video? Uh, leave comments below so I know what you like, what you don't like. Do you like the swatching when I'm purchasing some of the handmade watercolors? Is that, for me, that I would think it would make life a little bit easier just to see what the colors look like going down on paper because, well, I guess it would make me want to buy them even more than I normally would. But I like to see how they go down on paper to see if they're chalky or if they come up a little bit. But these, these ones are really nice. That's where did I swatch out? So the, these were the Julia K. These were the Ruby Mountain. They go down really nice on paper, all of these. Again, I'm just loving that. 
That's Cedric. So this one has like some gold flakes in it. Can you see that? This one seems to maybe have some mica in it. This one definitely does. It's like a gold. This one I can't tell, but I think it's a shimmer paint. I think they're all supposed to be shimmer paints. But this one, it just separates real, very, very interesting. Here's our other one, the talk about it. See, this is going to help me, and I know that's not your problem. Oh, let's look at those paints one more time. Because now all these paints are available to play with. And as I said, I have, I have her Northwest Adventures, the sweet as can be. I really want to show you the honeybee. It is so beautiful. You can also see it on her Instagram. I also have the skin tone set and the conversation. So I still have four of the nine to swatch out. But I wanted to swatch them and, and paint something for her paints. All right. So watch for swatching videos of more of the paints and artwork with these. I'll review as I go. To me, I, I don't really want to review something until I've used it for a few months because you don't, I don't think you really get the quirks worked out unless you use something repeatedly and to know how it's gonna behave. Um, swatching, I would say everything performed really well today. So I don't have any complaints today about any of these. I think Quartz Creations is one of my favorite paint companies at the moment. I'm not very familiar with Ruby Mountain, so I need to play more with their paints and maybe get a few more colors, which I actually plan to do. There's a couple colors I wanted, but they were sold out. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Let me know what colors or what paints you really like today, what looks interesting to you. Thank you for watching. I'm Ari, and this is Shamelessly Creative. We got an art haul and a swatching, kind of all in one. Thank you. Now I hope you'll go get creative. Bye. And now that the pyrite is dry, look at that. Little tiny sparkles in that graphite. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Still beautiful colors.